uh, from Lydia Durkin. Um, functional load for feedback. How much is necessary? It was like how much is necessary. It was like how much is too much. So should we it's explain a little bit about functional load mm. and what she? Because just just to explain what she. Well, actually it was meant. quite it was quite a wordy question, wasn't it? Mm. So let's get to the bottom of what what she. What meant. she was actually asking. Yeah, I think it's it. She was asking how much is in ter- if, t- if you're talking in terms of just load loading, like adding load. Should we should we give a movement? Deadlift. 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 Could be all Same those. Forward, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. How much is too much? How much is too little? Cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's it's with functional load, then it's too little. First of all, functional load would mean specific. So function means specific two. So add fuck that off and just say load. Loading. Yeah. 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 So loading a barbell, deadlift. Yeah. And feedback from that weight, so that basically you can feel what you should be feeling. When you're doing deadlift, yeah. So if you did a deadlift with a PVC pipe, what's your deadlift? But 300 kilos. Somewhere, yeah. 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 yeah okay. 40. So if you had a 345, <laughs> good day. <laughs> so if you had a PVC pipe, you'd have no feedback. Good point. That yeah. So we're going to go into feedback with that, right? So mega point. The PVC pipe warp. There we go. I'm gonna say it. So don't do it. No, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> two. Do it. Functional. Good <laughs> point. This so functional load for feedback, yes. right? If you're gonna give someone, a, I know this whole thing like master PC pipe, you master barbell. I don't agree because there you is can't feel there the is PVC no feedback. Pipe. And there's you, no feedback. It needs no. to be if you're gonna like expand someone's. I'm gonna use the broad and general term again. Capacity, but there's not enough stress. Then that's basic. Like nothing happens. Like there needs to be just enough stress to elicit a hormonal response. And a PVC pipe, you can snap it behind your head or lose it too far in front. But you, that, yeah, you can no basically feedback, you can no stress. You can st- so a good example is you can still do an overhead squat with a PVC pipe and back and here. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, you're you're not going to get pulled forward by that. But maybe with an empty bar, you know, unless you're super strong, unless that's in a good position, you're going to feel that come out of position and pull you forwards or backwards or whichever, yeah. wherever yeah. it is. Yeah. So, Lydia's question. <laughs> yeah. Right, so this, this, this is good. This. So, uh, Tom was turned to deadlift. Again, like we said for the last question, the, the start position was in a critical position, but also between that, you've got like accessory um, and prior movement. So, in, in terms of when you're doing a movement, there's what you've intended to happen around a certain joint. I, for a deadlift, you intended to be a hinge pattern. But then there's also um, accessory things like acceptable deviation away from, mm. which is where people say, if I'm pulling 95%, I'm a one at max, my back rounds, and that's where people might differ in opinion, but is that all right? And actually saying is how much is necessary, how much is too much, how much is too little. Yeah. That's 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 the good question. Yeah. If you're are we talking CrossFit still, or are we talking are we talking like workout wise, are we talking like strength training? Should we give should we should wise? we make a session up? So if you were gonna do say you were gonna do five by five deadlift, yeah. That's your so your 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 aim with that session is to build strength, yeah, and that's the, stimulus, yeah, yeah, that's a stimulus. So ascending weight across, the ascend, five, yeah, to finish at heavy five. five, yeah, to finish at heavy five. Your yeah. first set would probably be up where you know, what, seventy five. So yeah, start so with. exactly that. So it's it's, 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 it's in a class. Do you, if someone's working up and they end up um, three sets have been mega bars moving well, um, four set here, fifth set there, what would you say? To them? I just try and like for me. It's hard because you, you hit a bit of a competition, then don't you? Like, mm. yeah, yeah. If I'm you not saying you can't, but I'm saying you probably shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, yeah, yeah. if you think that you, that athlete is in danger, mm. and you think that you know, I I've done this it's immediate before. or long term. It's like immediate fair one. Yeah. The, the immediate thing is, in, yeah, is injury, yeah. Yeah. but long term, you're That's not going to get you better. And it's the whole thing of just because you can doesn't mean you should. should. Like exactly. a flex spine, a stronger spine in terms of strongman events and in deadlift, really. Like, but this always comes. You know, this always comes back. Like, look at Eddie Hall. Like, oh God, what? And like, look at Eddie Hall. He, he does it with like he's like yeah. squats down. He uses quads more. Yeah. Like, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Right this back to basics, man. Standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right back to <laughs> yeah. basics. That's yeah. the kind of feedback you get a lot yeah. from, like, from people in in. Uh, there's a lot of people like, I get. Look at so and so dead. I took a so and so snatch. Look yeah. at cloak over his toes. You know what I mean? For me as a coach, if I see someone pulling with a round back, I just immediately go to drop the weight. Yeah. I know it's like, oh, well, are we ever going to 
get stronger if you don't overload and all that. Well, I just think it's bullshit. But it it's needs to be look after yourself. Strength, strength is so Do you think they must understand overload? Principles of overload. That as well. Do they? Yeah. I don't know. I've never actually asked the question. So when I was saying it in terms of like um, uh, the primary versus accessory, if the in, look at the intent, which is the primary, and then the accessory, the acceptable, acceptable, acceptable deviation away from perfect, mm. that's probably then the coach's job to put in clear boundaries that they allow that much deviation. Yeah. I.e., on a hinge, if you're ninety five percent, there is definitely going to be some spine, like some some the number flexion. Yeah, guarantee it. Yeah, that's all right though. Yeah. At that kind of percentage. Constant, con- like let's let's take it because in the memory should be within training for about four years before they understand ninety yeah, yeah. percent anyway. Yeah, probably. Um, so that's what I'd say for how much is too much is it? Pure, it kind of pure depends on the person again, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, you've got to educate and understand that there is going to be some deviation. Same with like like a strict press. If we go to a heavy like a heavy five again, and at one time there's a bit of there's a bit of that type of extension out there. Bench press. Yeah, <laughs> like is it all right? Yeah. It's not yeah, the end of the probably. World. But if you but it, like again, if, if that's an empty bar, that's yeah. A if it's if it's over the top, yeah. If it's over the top, if they are you know a forty five degree angle bending backwards, yeah, 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 that's way too far. But if you've got pull the chin back out of the way, and yeah. they're bending over a little bit just to yeah. get that last rep out, and that is again that's acceptable deviation yeah. away from perfect. That is going to happen on the heaviest yeah. reps, but it shouldn't happen throughout oh. the whole. It five shouldn't sets. happen. At, it shouldn't happen at fifty yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't happen at sixty percent. And that, and that ensures either lack of strength, lack of motor control, lack of sequence, and lack of brace and lack, lack of mobility, whatever. But that's when you've got to then. That's then well then right the last time that's a limitation, but that's going to be dependent on on the individual again. Yeah. So it it's down to from a coach's perspective, you just you, you want as little as you can. Yeah. Except it's going to happen sometimes. Yeah. Or keep it to a minimum. Yeah. Yeah. As a person, as an individual, I mean, you're coming to the class, so you're if you're in a class in a CrossFit gym, and yeah. you, you, you're accepting that you pretty much you've got to do what the coach tells you to do. Yeah. Technically, mm-hmm. like yeah. you know, it's, it's their job to mm-hmm. look after you. Yeah. If they're not, if they're just doing it on their own, is it just up to them? It's like, well, how much is too much? I don't give a shit. Your deadlift's going up. Yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a pure. It's again, it's a pure. I've, I'm sure you've had the same thing when I've had to, I've had to call people back, you know, and they've, they've given me numbers, like, originally, and I've tested them towards those numbers, and I've realised that, like, 60% of that, these aren't the real numbers that they've given me. Like, yeah, no, yeah. back in set 2001, I did this deadlift once, and you're like, well, no. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. But it's the same thing. It's where it becomes a contest, uh, almost a battle of ego. Yeah. Either they're willing to listen, and you're willing to listen to them, because sometimes the, the different coaching models, and I used to be horrendous for it, of just, it's my way or no way, if we're not going to work together. If, if you're not going to work with me, we're not going to work together. Whereas now I'm starting to learn that they've got to talk to me, I've got to talk to them, and we can find a good middle ground with them and each other. But it's very fucking hard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's where, it, it answers the question, that's where it comes down to the, the individual. How, not clued up. Yeah, how, how, how clued they are in, in what they're being asked Yeah, their level of understanding. Yeah, yeah. Their exactly. level of, is, is their yeah. level of understanding there so they understand what? Keep calling it classes, to... stop doing your yeah. own training. Yeah, definitely. You get way more out of coaching than you do from training on your own. Yeah, yeah. And not even just If that. you just pick up one thing, like, from the class, one thing that, like, oh, that's interesting, quality. And it's like that, um, the Snatch workshop we did last week. Mm. People have made years of progress mm-hmm. in two yeah. hours. They've been coming here for six years, yeah, yeah. five years, four years. Yeah. It was really good to see people who had something new. Yeah, who had yeah. experience of weightlifting and messages mess after saying, like, that was class, that's mega that, because that, yeah. that's credit the individual by being, like, open enough to think like I don't know yeah. everything yeah. it's the same thing if, ego, if, you, it? if you think you're the best in the room go and find a new room because you yeah. what yeah. far you, you, you it's just really dropping the ego being open to yeah, yeah. something and just accept that you know you you, you know my, myself, myself included training on your own with no eyes on you you're going to get good at doing whatever it is that you do yeah. you're not going to improve yeah. you know you, someone could just see one thing yeah yeah, you that, got, yeah, yeah, be yeah it. totally. You know, you've 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 leveled up. You've gained a percentage, one mm-hmm. percent. And when you've been training for years and years and years, one percent is everything, isn't mm-hmm. it? Yeah. What we'll do with shoulders the night? Same thing. Oh, oh, yeah. The shoulders. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I think which is necessary. Just enough stress to elicit a hormonal response and get better at what the intent is and what the person's asking you to do. If you want to get better at deadlifting. Learn how to hinge properly, and then do not deviate away from the hinge. Don't turn kettlebell swings. Understand that it's either hinge or squat or push or pull, and then that's the stimulus. That's the intent. The stimulus is then going to be the workout, and that's your chance to get better at it. And then work with your coach to understand to understand and, and clearly identify deviations away from that. Yeah, you know what I mean, 
Yeah. Which should be. Gonna get better at deadlifting. Nailed it. Gonna get better at The hinge probably. Gonna get better at snatching. Understand snatching to the finest detail. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Moving on. Oh, yeah. Michael's excited about this one. 